Uh, in fact, uh, this is a Washington Post poll out uh, that shows uh, Hispanics are unfavorable to, um, to, to Trump. Eight to one, uh, seven to one, very unfavorable. Let's bring back Kelly Riddell, uh, Crystal Wright, and, and Tammy Bruce. You know, I remember Vicente Fox guy. He thought he was an arrogant SOB, too. <laughs> and he would get on that white horse and he would blame Americans for uh, uh, Mexican drug lords. Kelly, I mean, he's, he's, you know, he's got a lot of nerve, I think. is not a good poll for Donald Trump, but there are a few caveats with it. First being a poll taken in a Republican primary, you know, many months out from the general, rarely reflects what the general electorate is going to feel come the summer and the fall. And, and secondly, this whole notion that a Republican needs to win the Hispanic vote by like 40 percent in order to win the ha White House that the RNC's put out there, Ted Cruz has put out there, the mainstream media has put out there, is blatantly false. Um, what a Republican needs to do, if Mitt Romney would have won 40 percent of the Hispanic vote in 2012, he still would have lost the White House. What he needed to do better with is with the Rust Belt. He needed to do better in Ohio with white working class Americans. And that is where you see Trump excelling right. at. Uh, you need to win Ohio if you're, if you're going to be a Republican going to the White House. And so, so you need to also, you can't do poorly with Hispanics, right. but you need to improve and, the margin of, with every demographic, and, with and, women. And also, though, Asians. I do think what some people are saying, though, Crystal, is that at some point, uh, whether it's true this uh, past election or this current election, considering the birth rate uh, of, of, of Hispanics and, and the aging of, of, of the whites that Kelly are talking about, it's a no-brainer that you, you can't have them excluded from the party uh, the way blacks have been, uh, you know, non-GOP voters, because at some point you can't win a national election. Well, we know this. The, Democrat, the demographics of the changing face of America are not on the sides of, of Republicans. That's why McCain and Romney lost in 2008, respectively, in 2012. But, folks, Trump did win the Hispanic vote in Nevada, and nobody's talking about that. This is a part of a larger narrative that you have a small group of people inside the Beltway who aren't necessarily concerned about Trump. They're concerned okay. about holding on to their power to anoint people and shove people down the throats of voters. And I think that that is really what this election is about. I find it incendiary, the narrative, because I'm going to get behind our eventual nominee. And those same people who want to hold on to power so badly here in Washington shut out minorities that look like me and women. All the demographic groups, Charles, that we have said we need to win moving forward. And I predict that Donald Trump, mm -hmm. even though he has negatives now and the polls right. are way out, he will align this. a bigger, co bigger coalition mm -hmm. than we have seen. And that is really mm -hmm. why the National Review is calling him a virus. Right. He let, is, me, let me bring, let me bring Tammy in on this. Yeah. Let, let me bring thank you. Tammy, thank Tammy you. in on this, though. Yeah, well, look, this is, this, is an end, this is an end to identity politics. I think this is what we're seeing with Donald Trump. The reason the Republicans fail is because they've fallen into the liberal trap of, of targeting sections of Americans. Mm -hmm. A message like Reagan had, which covers the American experience, the, the issues that, that we are all concerned about, regardless of our complexion or our gender, national security, mm -hmm. jobs, immigration, this is what makes the difference. The enthusiasm rate for the Republicans will make up for anything else that's the